This edition of Sports Galore is proudly brought to you by Subway. And now, here's your hosts, Mark Allen and Adam Trelaw. Good day, everybody. Welcome to Sports Galore. I'm Mark Allen, and this is Adam Trelaw. Nice good to, to be see again, you. Mate. Very now, good. Now, most people would probably think that big smile of Adam's is because <laughs> Collingwood has had a nice little win over well, Geelong. Well, that is part of the reason. But it is Monday as we record our program, about 1.30, uh, and Oklahoma City, yes, 133, game three. defeated Golden yes, State. Yes, game three. Um, checked uh, the odds <laughs> yesterday, actually, to see what we were. Yes. We're, we're paying $2.50 to win, even though it was our home game. Yeah. And, had an interview yesterday and um, they asked me basically, you know, what are the thoughts of Oklahoma winning today? And and I said, mate, we're going to win. 100% we'll win. And they all shut me down. They all laughed at me, said, you're not going to win today. They're going to spank you. They're going to win 4-1 now. I'm so happy. You know what? Stuff you guys. We won. We're 2-1 <laughs> up. Another game at home. So, mate, I'm just happy. I wouldn't have done the show if we, if we didn't win. So, I'm pretty pumped. Kevin Durant as just you a star too. Mate. Yep. 33 just points today. Westbrook almost had triple double. So, mate. All right, back to day. Saturday. Back to Saturday. You are happy there? What about how happy you were yes, after that first great. quarter, mate? Yeah, mate, it was terrific. Um, yeah, following, on, following on from last week, really. It was just the way we trained, the way we 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 went about the week. I think we we really attacked the week. We didn't, you know, rest on our laurels. Coming off a really good performance against Brisbane the week before, but you know, we attacked the game like we attacked it last week. Our defensive pressure was on. Um, we forced them to turn the ball over. We we used the ball well. We maintained the ball well. Um, when we went, we went. We kicked goals. We kicked straight in the first quarter, which we didn't kick straight last week. Um, yeah, it was just a really good four quarter performance. Although they, they did scare us a bit in that last quarter. Well, that's my next question. Yes. Because their supporters, we're very they proud been, of the situation. Heart attack. Yeah. Guess they eight or nine points yeah, in the last yeah. quarter. But I think that's full credit to the guys. I mean, Geelong were always going to come because you know they're the Premiership favourites. They're one of the best teams. Best last quarter team. Exactly. In the Exactly, too. exactly. And for, you know, Frosty had really important one-on-ones on, on Tom Hawkins, Howie coming across as a third man, like guys winning one-on-one battles. So it was just a terrific effort by the guys. Now I want to stick up for you. Yes. Big time here. Why is that? Because everyone wants to talk about the Mason Cox goal. Oh, okay. Not possible <laughs> unless there is, of course, the Adam oh, the tap, yeah, tap yeah, over no, the top and there. then <laughs> grab it on the run and then find him. Not possible. No, nah, there was nothing, So mate. Mason Cox, you should be kissing this bloke's <laughs> feet at some stage during the week. Otherwise, your moment is not happening. <laughs> How good was his bounce, though? I was standing behind him watching him because I didn't know what, what was going on. Yeah, what were you thinking? I see Benny Crocker next to him, Trev Arco in the goal square. I'm thinking, mate, just kick it to one of the guys, he's running, look at his head, and he bounces the ball like a basketball. I'm thinking, what are you doing? <laughs> and then he kicked it, and you can just see him. And I, I fling my hands up, and oh, mate, mate, it was a great moment. As we speak, that would be, uh, you wouldn't believe it, over in America oh, somewhere. Mate, Mason ever, Cox hadn't seen the Sharon. 211 centimetre bouncing the football like a basketball. <laughs> That's someone guy. else's, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Not here in Australia, because we all saw I it know, yesterday. I know. But we're going to go straight to, you wouldn't believe it. Now, have a listen to this story, because oh. this, this amazes me. Um, there's a young lady called Shelby Erdahl. Yep. Now, she's a runner for the uh, Idaho State University, and she's doing the hurdles, 400-meter hurdles. Cracks an Achilles, like click in half, first hurdle. Good what? night, nurse. Good night, nurse, but she managed to go on, and she got over every hurdle <laughs> after cracking the... Fin- oh, it's gone, and no she way. screamed in pain all the way no way just to get one point for Did it her really school. Happen? Is, yes. that a, is that true? Or? No, that is a very true story. She snapped her Achilles mid-race and did it. First hurdle. Like, I can only imagine how oh, much pain you would you be in to snap an Achilles. When I, when I picture that, I picture when one of my old teammates, Santo Helpman, played at Carlton and was yeah. at the Giants. He did his Achilles in his first game back my first year. And the second he did it, he went down like a shotgun and hit him. This girl has... Done it first hurdle Kept going. and finished the race. For one point, for one extra point. Oh, wow, that is tough. Unbelievable. That is tough. I've got one other for you too. Ronnie Lott, 1985. Yep. Now, this is an important one. Listen to this <laughs> Ronnie one. Lott. Ronnie Lott. Ronnie <laughs> Lott, 1985, San Francisco name. 49ers. Broke his little finger in a tackle. Yep. So this one. Yep. But he wanted to keep playing. So he asked them to amputate his finger. What? And, and they did... Just so he could keep on playing. Yes or no? True or false? Wait, this might be the silliest thing I've ever said. That's not during a game. During a game. They told him to cut the Broke his finger, his finger in a, off. Broke, um, just listen to the story. Broke a finger in the tackle, and so he could play, keep on playing, he said, amputate no, the finger. No, I don't believe it. It happened. Not no, but how? What? They go into the change room, and the bloke lined his <laughs> finger up and just went bang. <laughs> yes. Are you serious? 
It happened in 1985. I, I'm definitely Googling it's that. It's right there. Google Because I do it. not believe that. You can Google I, it too. I actually do not believe that. Ronnie Lott, 1985. San Francisco don't 49ers. I don't, know Sammy, I don't know what Sammy. I don't know what Sammy producer's thinking, but I actually do not believe that. <laughs> now you just told us about Satano Sat- helping yes. uh, playing with the. Uh, yeah. Or got the crack. What about you? What's the worst injury that you've played with on the back? Uh, of this? Well, so me myself, I, I've been pretty lucky. I haven't really had any any like trauma type incident where it's happened and I've continued the game. I mm. probably wouldn't be strong enough to be quite honest, but. Um, yeah, I've had ongoing like overuse injuries. Like last year, I battled with OP and groin issue, and that wasn't good because. Yeah. Um, you know, I remember one game. It was pretty funny. It was, wasn't funny at the time, <laughs> but um, we, we get our GPS, and so we get our GPS after the game. And, and Tom Scully obviously plays with the Giants. He's a freak runner. He's, he's mm. equivalent to Steel Sidebottom, and he would he would probably run 50 sprints a game. The way they measure it is, it's something like you can correct me if I'm wrong, Kevy, the, the GPS guy, but <laughs> yeah. you got to run over 25 k's per hour for a certain amount of time. It yeah. might be like three seconds, and that's considered one sprint. Right. Anyway, Skulls, Tom Skull would run about 50 a game. The record, I mean, the average for a midfielder would be about 25 to 30 <laughs> per game. This one particular game where I had my OP last year, yeah. I had three sprints for the whole game. <laughs> the whole game. Yes. After the game. Meters distance was another thing we measured. Yeah. Average for the mids was about, would have been about 300 to 400. I had 75 meters sprinted for the whole game. And that wasn't because of effort, mate. That was because of <laughs> pain. Because of the pain. So yeah. in terms of that, that's probably been my worst one. But I've been pretty lucky. Touchwood, do not mm. jinx me. Are you and Pendle's best on ground. It's nice to see Pendle's back playing yeah, well. He's, he's How far flying. off 100% was he at the start of the season? Do you think? Uh, I think I think when you run out, obviously, well, no one's ever 100%. You're never, ever 100 That's Picture 100%. Yeah. That's nothing. You're always going to have a little niggle. Yeah. But I think as soon as you, you declare yourself fit and you run out there and you and you say you're ready to play, like you don't want to put yourself in detriment of the other team and, and not play well, you know what I mean? Mm. Not not feel like you're giving yourself to the team because you're injured. So as soon as he said he was fine, we all backed him. And, and I think he's been fine really from the start. Yeah. Well, I reckon our game's the best for players playing with injury. I mean, you look back, oh, Francis absolutely. Burke had the broken absolutely. leg and the blood all over his face. And then you had Dipper, of course. Broken yes, ribs in the yes. 89 grand final. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Dermot Brereton did the Dermot. same thing. Broke his ribs. Uh, Bruce that was Kisney. the first bounce, wasn't it? Yeah, that's first right. Someone lined him up. Alan Didak in the final series of 2010. Pectorial did ripped he? off the bone. Kept on playing right through. Really? And we'll never forget Darren Mullane back in the 1990s final series. Broken thumb. And he played. All the way through. What about, there's another one actually, Nigel Lappin, 2002 yeah. might have been. Cracked ribs. Yeah, had a cracked rib and, and his every, teammate Jason yeah, Ackerman told, has told, told everybody, told everybody about, about, it. about it. So, uh, thanks. Oh, I'm, sure, I'm sure Nigel was happy about that. But, what about some other examples from other oh, sports, mate? Yeah, we got mate? some uh, real good ones. They were obviously my favourite sport. Kobe yeah. Bryant, starting with Kobe. Tore his Achilles one game. He went down like... Oh, so yeah. sad because I love the man. Went down about like thirty-five. It was it was basically <laughs> always about thirty-five. Yeah. People thought it was the end of his career. Done his Achilles, and he could have got carried off the court. But he said he got a foul, so he said, "No, no, no, no. I'm going to shoot these free throws. Right. Shot the free throws. Got him. Bang. Yeah, went right. off the court. Nice. So there's one. Michael Jordan, mate. This is probably you talk about iconic performances, favorite performances <laughs> of people. Michael Jordan, this is my second favourite performance behind his last performance for the Bulls. Come on. The flu game. <laughs> the flu game. <laughs> the flu. So I've heard, this is because I've read all his books, yeah. all his old autobiographies. It's the flu. I've, I've heard he's met like the doctor, the trainers talk about this particular day. They said he was almost on his deathbed. He couldn't get it. He couldn't get it's out of training. Flu. He couldn't get out of bed. Oh. He was in a hotel, oh, couldn't get out of bed, couldn't do anything. Got to the court, wasn't even going to play, was not going to play. He said, you know what, I'm going to get up and play. Scored 38 points, seven assists, five rebounds, had three steals, got him over the line, carried him to the championship. There you go. So there's probably one of my favourite performances. Then there's a couple others. <laughs> Kurt Schilling. Yeah, this was a good one. In the World Series, had a ruptured tendon in his ankle, which would, yeah. oh, that would kill. Blood through the sock, he you could his, see Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Come through and Boston went on to win the series. So that's pretty yeah. phenomenal. And Tiger Woods, you would know this one well and truly. Yeah, torn ACL, ACL, broken leg. Went and won the US, US Open. Open. Mate, it was 90 holes. So it wasn't just a 72-hole tournament. He had to he come got through back the, the whole next thing. day for an 18-hole playoff. And then that 18-hole playoff was tied. And yeah. then he won again. So it was actually... 91 holes he played with a broken leg. But in all honesty, mate, do you actually need your legs when you play golf? Yes, because you I'm do. Not a golfer. You do, Adam. So would it? Your legs are very important. So would he have been pain if he was swinging and hitting and winning? Yeah. Would he, he actually have been every pain? shot? Every shot. Really? I, I'm still a little bit uh, worried about that one. Like, How do you <laughs> a golf tournament with a broken leg, Tiger? He's crazy. There's a little bit more to that, mate. I can I can promise you. Now, Adam, it is time for our subway. 
Sports oh, yeah. Woman of the Week. This now, we spoke about Jared Hayne uh, and quitting AFL for the NBA last week and all that kind of stuff. Yep. Right? One bike, training for one sport all your life and then swapping over. Yep. Jess has played over 100 internationals for Australia in cricket. In cricket. In cricket. Just wanted on the MCG yesterday and kicked six, six in for the Ds. <laughs> Now, there is a fair chance with the Magpies ladies' team in 2017, she is not tied to the Demons. Well, she's probably related to Jeremy Cameron. You reckon? Because he dominates. We know that. Goal kicker. He's a goal kicker. this is your job. What are you doing? I should know that because I've played with him for five years, but it wouldn't surprise me because that's amazing. Six goals on... Right this game. Well, Gubby Allen, if you're listening, this is your job, mate. Go her? out and get Jess Cameron to play for the Lady Girl, her? for Lady Magpies. She'd slot straight there. Straight she in would, the forward pocket. That'd be sensational. All right, now, the news. And this is, uh, we need the care factor here from you, oh, Adam. The care factors. The Queensland Firebirds, it's the netball, have won 21 games in a row. Haven't lost since round one, 2015. It's now round eight, 2016. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. Don't care about a streak? No, because Melbourne Vixens train here, I'm pretty sure. So okay. I'm a Melbourne Vixens All right, good. man. I like that answer. <laughs> very, very good. So, no. Well, that's right. pretty phenomenal. So Jared Hayne, he's always on this show. Uh, we talk about Jared Hayne, it seems Jared, a lot. And Nick Curios. <laughs> and Nick. He had a good win first round anyway. Jared Hayne in the uh, French Open. Jared Hayne played his first game I've of Rugby that. Sevens. And just made a mess of it, mate. Played against <laughs> yeah, Australia, he was giving penalties away, he was dropping <laughs> balls. I mean, I, come on. No, I do care. Hasn't he? I swear he played for Australia. He's Australian, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got but ties why? to Fiji somehow. So he's playing for Fiji. Yeah. Like Fiji won 26 to, to nil. Fiji's, they're good they're at rugby sevens. Unbelievable, mate. They are a freak show in they this caper. Uh, Roger Federer, not I playing know, in the I French Open care. this fortnight. Not playing. Yeah. He hurt his back uh, picking up the kids' toys. Oh. He's one of the greatest athletes we've ever seen in the whole world. <laughs> picking, picking up the toy. kids' toys. <laughs> so I do open. care because I think it goes on. I get swept under the rug quite a fair bit because of my love I have for Kevin yeah. Durant and Michael Jordan. But I love Roger Federer. Love Roger mm. Federer. And yeah, it's a shame that he's not playing. Well, this next one's interesting. The Raptors are defeating Cleveland Cavs. Game three. No, LeBron it's James. Just a blimp in the radar. Did you see what he did? Pretending. Oh my God! Yes, what I did. Was that? Now I know that's the saying. worst I've ever seen. Oh wow! We need we need to get Adam Oxley on because Adam Oxley loves LeBron. Like I love Durant. Oxley gets and a good run on this program as well. He's trying to defend him. <laughs> and Brett McAfee, Brett McAfee just had a daughter actually, yeah. Sahara, which is great for him and Tam. Right. But um, he's come out and said, mate, that's the difference between LeBron and Michael Jordan. Jordan would have got up and had a fight with him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> LeBron's flopped. And swung down like he's been. He should have been booed off court. He, it wasn't. It wasn't that was good. Pathetic, was it? Pathetic, LeBron. <laughs> pathetic. Right, our last one. Karen Harding contested on the UK version of the <laughs> X Factor. For X Factor. Well, it sort of is. She was supposed yeah. to sing the English national anthem at a massive at sporting event, the FA Cup final. Um, music starts playing. She oh, forgets no. the words. Did she? Forgot the words, oh, no. and then joined in halfway through. Oh no! So that's not on. Man. I actually don't. Oh, that's not good. Actually, what we should do, Sam, our producer, sits right here, folks. But Sam, next week, national anthem stuff ups. <laughs> I love national anthem stuff ups. They yes, are the that best. would be great. That Adam, would be great. Good luck against uh, the doggies Thanks, this week, Thank mate. You. Great to see you. you go, too, mate. Oklahoma. go, Oklahoma. Almost got me over the line as a fan. Now. This time next week, we'll probably know. Actually, this time next week, if yeah, I'm on we the show, know. we've won. If I'm not on the show, I'm gone. I'm not even at the footy club. <laughs> well, it might just be me next week, but we'll catch you next time. Thanks to our friends at Subway, this has been another episode of Sports Galore. If you've got feedback on the show or you have a topic you'd like the guys to talk about, use the club's official social channels to let us know. Go Pies.